Hi, I'm Jason, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make use of an old PC to create a dedicated Windows Steam game server. And I'm going to do this by making a Counter-Strike source server. You can create a server on your own desktop PC or on a spare separate PC. The PC doesn't really need to have anything special as far as specifications as long as it's around 1.7 GHz of processor, 1 GB of RAM, a network card and a hard drive with enough space to install the game files on and then you're good to go. For this demonstration I'll be using an old low powered PC that I don't really have any use for, so rather than throw it away I can put it to good use. It's got 2 gigs of RAM, a network card, a 160 gig hard disk, and the processor is an Intel Atom processor. Yes, you heard it right, an Intel Atom. So not a very high powered machine at all. This spare computer is connected to my network and has a fixed IP address so that I can connect to it using Windows Remote Desktop. And the reason I use remote desktop is so that I don't need to plug a keyboard and mouse or monitor into the spare PC. And because it has a fixed IP address, I never need to worry about the address changing when using remote desktop to connect to it. Look at remote desktop as a separate window into another PC. The other reason I like to set fixed IP addresses is so that I can always guarantee that it will use the same address even if I reboot the PC or my router. To know what address to assign as a fixed IP is simple. Here on my desktop now I can just open up a command prompt so let's click start and type CMD and we get a black dialog box that opens here and if I type in IP config and press enter and let me just scroll up for a second it will show me the default gateway which is my home router address of 192.168.1.1. Yours may be slightly different, but all you need to know is the first three sets of numbers. The last set you can simply choose yourself. I'm going to open up my remote desktop now, and I've set my spare PC's IP address to 192.168.1.50. So let's connect to that now. and I'm now logged in and looking into the window of my spare PC. The reason I chose 192.168.1.50 for this spare PC is because I know that it's an address that's not being used by anything else on my home network. By the way, you can set a fixed IP address in two ways. On the router itself, assigning a reserved IP address to the MAC address of your computer's network card, which is the way I've done it here, but I'm not going to go right into that now as your router will probably not be the same as mine, or by entering your desired IP address into the network settings of your network card itself, which is the easier way. Let me show you. So if I go down here and I open up my network and sharing centre, change adapter settings, and here is my local area connection. If I right click and say properties, and then internet protocol version four, properties, and I can say use the following IP address. And I can simply put in the IP address that I desire here. If I click in here, it will automatically fill out my subnet mask. And if I wish, I can put my default gateway, which if you remember, is my router, like so. But I've already reserved the address for this PC through my home router itself. So I'm going to cancel that for now and close this down. So that's enough about IP addresses. Let's get on with the game server installation itself. The first thing I need to do is download a program called Steam CMD. So let's open up a browser and let's Google Steam CMD. And the first one in the list here, Steam CMD, let's click that. And all you need to do is select the Windows zip file here. And we'll save as, let's put it on our desktop. Whilst not going away from this page, let me just scroll down and I'll show you all of the different servers that you can actually set up using Steam CMD. 
So as we can see, we've got games like Counter-Strike, Day of Defeat, Gary's Mod, Left 4 Dead 2, etc. But more importantly, we have the game's ID here. So if I wanted to create a Counter-Strike Source game server, I need to take note of the game's ID for Counter-Strike Source, which is 232330. So let's make a note of this because we'll need it later. The next thing I'm going to do is create a folder for my game server files to live in. So let's close this for now. And I'm going to go and start and go into computer, into my C drive, and let's make a new folder and we'll call it C Strike for Counter Strike. So let's now unzip our Steam CMD.zip file and there uh, we'll just extract to the desktop and we'll double click on steamcmd.exe to execute it we'll say allow access to that I now need to log in to Steam CMD and we do that by typing login and then space and anonymous we press enter. Normally this works fine although if you do have any trouble then please log in with your Steam account. Now we need to tell Steam CMD where to place the files we want for the Counter-Strike game server. So we type force underscore install underscore dir for directory and then a space and c colon backslash and the name of the folder that we made earlier C strike and press enter. We can now transfer the relevant game server files by typing app underscore update and then a space and then the game server files ID number which if you remember was 232330 and then I'm going to add another space and I'm also going to type validate and enter. This will check that the files are all validated after they've been transferred over to the directory. You will then see the files start to increase until it gets to a hundred percent. Be patient because this can take some time and the files will also validate at the end of it. So I'm going to speed up time for now. Once it's completed we can simply type quit, press enter, and now if I go to my C drive and look in my C strike folder, we can see that it is now populated with all the game server files that we need.